Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the abrupt uh, stoppage. We had a technical issue. It's been resolved. So, anywho, while we left off, Jesse was making his way down to the ring, and his opponent is Marcus the Wizard. Marcus Aura, and to catch people up, Jesse actually eliminated Marcus after the Royal Rumble, and even though Marcus did very good in the tournament, he lost in the Rumble, which is all right, but he's a very unpredictable character, so we're going to get right back to that match, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go. Here we go. This match Lock up. Jesse opens up the right hand with the face, throws uh, Marcus into the ropes. Marcus runs through him. Jesse kicks the midsection, goes to the headlock. Marcus counters, goes behind, standing switch. There's a pullback uh, hip toss there. Picks up Jesse. Right hand, a couple of nice little combination there. Picks up, goes right back to Jesse's head. And Marcus throws Jesse into the corner. Gets him up on the rope. What's he got in mind now? A beautiful deep arm drag off the second rope. Marcus working right on that arm still. Another pullback hip toss. Stomps shoulder and the shoulder of the Jesse twice, but Jesse rolls out of the third time right there. Jesse opens with a right hand, a hand to hand close quarter combat that Jesse's used over the years. Kicked in the midsection, followed by the bicep. You do not want to throw hands with Jesse. That's a wrong, that's a bad plan. High knee to the midsection. Marcus and and hits a big back body trap on Marcus. Jesse goes to the Marcus's wrist and pulls throws him into the corner. But uh, Marcus counters and hits a forearm right to the swallow of Jesse's back. Jesse pulls him off. Goes to that wrist lock. Counters. Hits that pendulum backbreaker. Stomps on him, but Marcus gets out of the way. But Marcus dodges the iron and hits the uh, sit out net breaker. Throws Jesse into the corner. And spins Jesse in the corner and puts him up. What's Marcus got in mind now? And backslide. Backslide suplex? That's something different. Surprising out of Marcus on the top. He usually usually go off the top offense. He's pounding ground, but another hip toss. Working on that arm. Try and take out Jesse Stunner. Stomps. Jesse rolls out of it. Kicks the midsection, but Marcus catches him. Drops another right in the knee. Another big back body drop. Axe handle the back and running uh, bulldog there. Jesse, they lock up in the center. Jesse goes behind. Marcus counters into a wrist lock. And twists his arm and another shot right to that bicep. And oh! Marcus going for a little uh, old school there. Hits old school. And Marcus is calling for it already. But mage, mage's mark? Oh no! He's the mage strike! He hits the main strike. Here's the cover. One, two. Jesse kicks out at two. Jesse goes to that arm. Beautiful side. Belly of back suplex there. Kick the midsection. Grabs the headlock. Nice little uh, twisting neck breaker there. Jesse Perry and oh, hits a big knee right to Mark's, Marsh's face. And Jesse takes the air and crash and burns. Marcus was just had enough wear with all the sidestep that. Here's the cover. One. Jesse says no. Marcus kicks in the midsection. Kicks him. Hits that nice little uh, DDT there. That's foot arm DDT and Jesse hits the running bulldog. Just because of Marcus and oh, high knee right to Marcus's face. And Jesse's calling for it. Is he going to steal his finisher? 
Or he's giving it to Stansfield. And no, he steals his finisher. He steals his main strike. Well, Marcus counters it. Oh, God. Marcus goes for Snake Eyes. Ooh, big boot for Marcus. Marcus drops it. It's the comeback. Here's the cover. One. Jesse says no. Marcus goes for the wrist lock, setting him up for another old school. He's going to the mage armor. He hits the mage armor. And he's setting up for the mage strike once again. There it is. Hits mage strike. That should be over. Here's the cover. Here's the cover. One, two, three. Marcus wins by hitting the mage strike. After taking his own finisher, Jesse just could not handle it. He was able to handle the first two, but that third one ended the game there. Solid victory there from Marcus. Solid match. But it looks like uh, Jesse was setting up for the stance fielder, but instead of hitting the stunner, he hits the uh, mate strike. And then, of all things, Marcus hits his comeback and annihilates him. What we got now? Camera's going backstage yet again. What the fuck's going on now? I do not want to leave my chair, but if I have to, I have to. And oh god! No one is no one is safe. God! Vladimir is going after Stroll now! And luckily as he's oh god, oh god, bashing Stroll's head into the ground! Finally, security gets over there and escorts Vladimir someplace else. Doctors are checking on Stroll. And he's not there too, so Vladimir making the point that no one is safe from him after that loss he suffered from Party Boy. The angry Russian has set his uh, objectives and he's going to attempt to take out everybody he can. So, uh, oh fuck, who now? What the fuck is this now? What shit we gotta deal with? Uh, oh no. Oh, it's the Hitman. What's Maximus doing here? And there's Drake. There's Cade. They had a rough match last week and what the fuck? Who the Wait, what? No, that can't be! Don't tell me that's Rico Rain! The fuck's he doing on pre-flight? What the fuck? And apparently they're heading straight out here. Because we're aware that... We were after that match last week with the Hitman and DEST that, uh, that DEST won via disqualification, but... Oh, fuck, here they come. Down in the ring. And it looks like Max has got something to say. God, it's a Hitman reunion, it looks like. I guess this is all fair warning to, from Counterbalance. <coughs> it looks like he's going to say something. Let's see, uh, let's see what he's got to say. The crowd's getting mixed reaction. Some are going hey, some are going nay. Some are just um, glad to see the hitman. Or they're just anxious to see what Maximus has to say. 
as we have seen, a call to arms has been issued, and one of those calls I made was to strengthen our own ranks up and recall Captain Rain to active duty. Soon, we will have more bodies to wage war with. I have reached out to Thrake Show, and he is in. STG. Sergeant, you have something to add. Oh, I guess, um... There's nothing to say. The warning I issued last week is still in play. Commander Cade. And Cade looks very anxious to talk this time around. You've been warned. Commander, may, Commander, may I? Yeah. Uh, apparently, Cap Rico Rain's gonna say something now. Well, I'm back, and even if it's only for a short while, I am going to make the most of it. Violence is coming. Are you ready? We sure as hell are! God. That's all... That's a response. A direct uh, response to uh, Cyberberg, apparently. Because we saw him on uh, the penalty box yesterday. And he says that he has all the money to buy as many bodies as he needs. And apparently... Maximus is going into his bag of tricks as well. So. So they recalled Rico Rain to active duty on Prefright at least. And I'm being told there are many more in the upcoming days that will explore, give uh, their stance on the situation, and which side are they on. Here what the go. hell? We're going to our main event already? This is fucked up. Alright, uh, apparently uh, shit happened, and this is a tornado tag. Then he takes him down with a toss. No, I think this is just a fight. A ferocious clothesline. Just devastating. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is they were supposed to the minute was going to be a tag match between these two. But apparently it's happening now. So. Well, I'll try and get everything organized here. This could be bad. The ref's got to get in here and get into control. This is... Oh, God. This is just a brawl. Just... Just straight bur uh, beat anything else. What the actual shit? Oh, well, fuck it. Don goes after Haji in the corner. And they got Body Scissors Elbow Drop there on 4X. Don takes on Haji up top. Knee drop by there, Aaron. Oh, God. Pranav gets back, back drop over there. Suplex off the top rope. And Hell's Gates lock on 4X. Kerman. Corey locks it in, but 4X says no one picks up Corey effortlessly. Spring leg drop. And just elbows from Don onto Haji. Oh, no! God damn it! Uh, well, fuck, Corey. Corey and 4X are going after each other. Don and Haji. Corey goes behind, but uh, hip toss there from uh, 4X. High knee, but Corey hits a clothesline. Haji breaks up there, hits a, gets hit by a running DDT. 
There's a little hip toss there. Another hip toss there in the middle ring. Haji and 4X are just going. And a pair of 4X is getting pummeled on the outside. Don Haji going to the top of the screen. And Don hits uh, Haji with the uh, face buster. 4X goes behind. Hits the Herakurana. Goes after Corey's arm. Don throws Haji over and brings his ass back in. And Corey's going for a submission hold. Uh, Forrest is going for a submission hold. It's in tight, but Corey gets out of it. <laughs> Just brutal assault. That's all I can say. Corey, what the hell is he doing? Oh, God, hit the mule kick on 4X. Don kicks Haji off the ropes. Don and Corey are just going at it. Don and Haji going at it. And got another Hell's Gate in the center. God, it just... Holy Jesus. 4X is tapping. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck just happened, ladies and gentlemen. But apparently, Corey hit the Hell's Gate on 4X. God, that must that little uh, bad blood encounter earlier in the day must have fixed stuff. What a win there. From Corey, what the fuck's going on now? Shit! That was our main event? Okay. I'm not even sure why. What the fuck just happened? I know our main event was a tornado tag, but Jesus Christ, that, that was it. Shit. Oh, apparently, yeah. Apparently, it is. Well, all right then. Well, that was. Uh, I'm not sure how to take today's episode. That was uh, violent, quick, and painful. So, I, I guess that's gonna do it here for what the hell? No, stop. No, fine. Good. No other bullshit's gonna go on. Thank God. But. This has been a very, very weird show, to say the least, for this week's, ladies and gentlemen, but... Have a good night, and remember, at the conclusion of our telecast, be sure to head over to our Twitch channel to catch Wednesday Night Ignition, which starts in 30 minutes. Have a good night, and we shall see you on the next flight out.